this is Attorney Walter Knott. We're going to be going through specifically an article from the Wall Street Journal. I think it outlines some of the little details that are kind of nice about what's going on for the, with this infrastructure bill. House passes $3.5 trillion budget blueprint sets deadline for infrastructure bill. Okay, So what they're doing is they're setting up the money that's needed to pass these other things. Remember, this is a blank check sort of situation with some general categories of how they're going to be spending it. But in the most part... Um, this is setting up the Democrats to have a successful 2022 election season because they're going to be mass investing into the people, getting the money, things like that, to get through this COVID situation, uh, which is kind of like what California has done with the whole you know situation that's going on with the governor. So we're going to be seeing a significant amount of money being flushed directly into the American people. Uh, let's go into it. Washington, the House narrowly passed a measure approving a $3.5 trillion budget blueprint and locking in a late September vote on a roughly $1 trillion infrastructure bill, ending a standoff between centrist Democrats and the party leaders over their legislative agendas. Uh, Tuesday's passage of the $3.5 trillion budget framework in a 220 to 212 vote unlocks a process known as a reconciliation, allowing Democrats to pass a broad package of health care. Education, climate provisions in the Senate without GOP support, so long as all 50 senators in the Democratic caucus back it. So this is going to put immense pressure on every single senator that is a Democrat to pass it. And remember, a lot of rules are going to be coming out. Some you're going to absolutely hate that are going to make no sense at all. Some you will like because they're going to be benefiting you. I usually see with these massive reconciliation bills, a lot of money going overseas. I usually see with these mass reconciliation bills, uh, a short period of money uh, or benefit and then very long term uh, pain and suffering in the sense of having to pay it back or new rules and regulations that further limit the freedoms and rights of people. But let's see what they have in mind, and none of them have a true idea of what exactly it's going to include. That has not been passed out to the people at this point. So unfortunately, the only people that really know that are the senators and the House reps that are getting to see it. Okay, so let's keep looking through this uh, real quick. The Senate passed the same budget blueprint earlier this month. The lawmakers are already working on drafting detailed legislation. Now, with that said, the blueprint doesn't have absolutely everything in it. So I just want to make sure everybody understands. Categorically, we know where they're going with things. Specifics, how each agency will deliver it and deal with it, things like that. We're starting to see a, a very basic blueprint, but we don't have the fine uh, details. And remember, all the bad stuff always gets added to it right at the end. The measure passed after concessions from both House Speaker Nancy Pelosi and a group of 10 centrist Democrats. The centrists had balked at approving the budget framework and urged the House to vote immediately on the infrastructure bill, which has already passed the Senate. Although the centrists didn't secure an immediate vote on the infrastructure measure, they did pin down a September 27th deadline for it, which means the House could vote on that bill weeks before the budget pack package is ready for Mr. Mrs. Pelosi, uh, which has said previously that the House wouldn't. But it just ends there? I guess it just ended there. Ugh. See, they're doing all this SEO, search engine optimization stuff, specifically, you know, with how they put it on their website. And then it creates these, like, tag in, where do we, you know, uh, can the search, can Google search it here? Can Google search it there? Which I understand Google's got to do its thing. But uh, bottom line, just cut off the rest of the article. So let me just give you a quick summary as to what's happening right now. The centrist Democrats had to basically you know, play a game with Pelosi. And the idea was that they were demanding a deadline for a vote on the infrastructure bill. It's kind of weird because Pelosi wants the infrastructure bill to pass. She just wants to pass it at a particular time so that both bills can pass into law at the same time. That are the two big bills that they're trying to push right now. This is a bit of a poison pill type of uh, political tactic, but at the same time, we don't even know what's in it fully to be able to understand what it's going to be. Now, with that said, uh, we're going to be doing additional videos specifically on what's happening at the Senate when it comes to this $3.5 trillion spending package. We will be visiting the White House to go ahead and look at the briefing room and specifically what they're saying right now, and then I'll deliver that information to you. This is all incredibly important for disabled and retired people, which is mostly what this channel is about, because at the end of the day, it could end up throwing in provisions that you notice from the Social Security 2100 Act and the SSI Restoration Act, which are the two main acts that basically are promoting the future of how the system would work under the SSA. 
Guys, my name is Attorney Walter of Dante III. I'm with Disability Resolution PA. If you uh, like, please like, subscribe, and leave five-star reviews. The five-star reviews are below on how to leave them with links. I'll catch you a little bit later, and we'll go from there. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.